Thankfully, the police, the police all, across all across the United States, States have been preparing, preparing themselves for such crimes. crimes. You're about, about to see the all important, important moments when school teachers, teachers realize they've been gone. gone. See you gonna- Yeah, 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 yeah. Welcome back to another video. Peace, I can And this is School Shorts, who was called Kevin. Let's go. School shootings are becoming, becoming more common, common in recent times. times. Thankfully, Thankfully, the police, the police all, across all across the United, United States, States have been preparing, preparing themselves, themselves for such crimes. crimes. You're, You're about, about to see the all-important all moments, moments when the school shooters realize, realize they've been gone. Are you going to school? Are you sure? What the? In 2023, 18-year-old Ohio, Ohio high, school high school student Nolan Rosen, Rosen was found with a rifle and ammunition, ammunition within his vehicle. After, After discovering, discovering a bullet in the cafeteria, <laughs> the school administration <laughs> called the police and had Rosen arrested. You're just arresting me on a charge that's made up. <laughs> you are though. You're crazy. 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 you he says some interesting things, like, if I was a school shooter, I wouldn't tell you. And I wouldn't bring a gun to school. It's not my intention. Alright, just turn around, face over here real quick. Put your hand on that table for me. Dumbass. So he has two bullets in this one? These are yours? Right here. Okay, we'll get there, we'll get there. Okay. Literally, if I thought I was doing anything wrong, I wouldn't bring it. I, I gotcha. You know, today's day means you can be too safe. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially in the school environment, that's all. I know why it would raise a concern, but I'm not like... I'm really scared about that stuff, like school shooters too. I'm like, very. Oh my like, god, you got caught! So, I'm like, I'm worried about that. Yeah, I'm worried about that stuff a lot sometimes. Is there a gun in your car right now? Yeah. Let's go out. So, you'll stay. Yeah, yeah. Rosen is searched by the police. He admits to having two bullets in his pocket, which are consequently removed during the search. Rosen seems to be quite calm in his demeanor and the officers have been respectful in their responses, ensuring that they are not assuming anything and that this is all for the purpose of everyone's safety. He claims to be worried about the prospects of school shootings and that he keeps a weapon to make him feel comfortable. After saying that he drove to school, he confirms that the weapon is inside his car. Once the keys to his vehicle are found, the officers search its interior for the weapon and any other evidence. All right, so what I would do, I would just leave it like this. Yeah. As long as this is not back, it's not going to fire. You verify that he's 18? We look on the... Yeah, I can triple check. But is he a senior? He's a junior. 18-year-old junior? Yeah. The .22 rifle is found, which the officers describe as the sort of weapon used for hunting small wildlife rather than being capable of committing mass acts of violence. While there are no minimum age restrictions for the possession of firearms, we cannot forget about the federal age restrictions that very much still apply. Meanwhile, the suspect is eventually taken to the principal's office. So I just need you to sign here saying that I presented you about this. We chose a 10-day suspension, potentially. So we have to tell you afterwards, but it's a possible 10-day suspension with a recommendation for expulsion for weapons, specifically gun and destructive so this is just signing that I presented you. Look through all the policies to make sure that I was allowed to bring it. Yeah, but you would have to sign that. That's just acknowledgement. It's not saying that you're guilty or anything. I thought I was allowed to like bring it in the parking lot. I mean, regardless, you're gonna have to either sign it or or, or don't sign it. But you know, I, mean, I thought I just thought I thought I was allowed to bring a rifle in the parking lot. So that's like where I'm coming from, all right? I'm just saying. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You still right? right? Well, I'm just kind of like explaining that I like, thought I was allowed to bring it. As long as I wasn't um, bringing it actually in the middle of the game. Uh, so I didn't like check the policies before I brought the gun. That's why I brought it, by the way. Okay. 
Continuously arguing with the officers is doing Rosen no favors here. He constantly insists that he is not in the wrong and that the restrictions are made up. While he calms down a bit when he is placed in the back of a police cruiser, he still continues to insist his innocence. The body camera officer retains his approachable and respectful demeanor throughout it all, which is commendable and is likely keeping the suspect calm here. Ultimately, Rosen received a 10-day suspension and after his arrest was charged with possessing a deadly weapon in a school safety zone. Hopefully, he has learned not to carry weapons intended for hunting game on school grounds, regardless of the justifications or whether he believes the laws are made up or not. Thousands are discovering relief in this secret blue tonic that breaks down stubborn weight, assisting them in attaining their ideal physiques without still wasting time on those long about searches. That one. Your search ends here. Stupid. Free cash is an amazing... Another incident took place at a school in Ocala, Florida in April 2018. Have a look at the CCTV footage of a boy running inside his school and up the stairs carrying a backpack and a guitar case. Let's see. To any unsuspecting person, 19-year-old Sky Bush was hurrying to class while lugging a guitar with him. Alas, inside the case was a 16-gauge shotgun and the bag on his back contained ammunition, gloves, and a tactical vest. After heading to the bathroom, he unpacked his weapon and gear, and then headed back out. It was reported that one student he walked past didn't seem to notice that he was visibly armed. When he got outside of classroom 212, he fired the weapon once before putting down the weapon and heading to classroom 229. MSCO school deputy Jim Long is called to the scene, alongside various members of the school's administration and staff, after hearing reports of an explosion. Signal 55, C hallway. 
Hey, lock this school down. Open the door. Ain't nobody in there. Down on the ground. What the hell? Put your hands behind your back. Everyone up. Okay, stop right there. Stop right there. Who is he? Oh, shoot. 996, burn. I have one in custody. They're saying he's a shooter. Did anyone see him? No, he was outside. He came down. Do you go to this school? What the? Alright, go. Out. Everyone out. Hey, keep them right there. There's another one in the, in the restroom? Okay. I'm sorry, sir. Are you kidding me? Mm. I don't know. I'll say another word. Do you have anything else on you? No, sir. Do you have any Dumbass. other weapons on this campus? No, Do you sir. have any other explosives on this campus? Sir, I put all my stuff on the table behind you, sir. One student has been injured by the gunfire and is receiving immediate medical treatment. The weapon is found by Deputy Long, who instructs nearby staff to lock the school down in between operating two radios. Soon enough, he is notified that Bush has retreated to a computer room with other students inside and has since surrendered after a teacher approached and spoke to him. This is an extremely dangerous thing to do for anyone, let alone a member of staff, in an emergency situation like this. Nevertheless, it has clearly been enough to encourage the shooter to stand down. Bush remains cooperative That's with the officer and gets up. down on the ground at the deputy's request and is immediately placed in handcuffs. What is, what is your name? Sky Bruchet. Sky Bruchet, and you used S to go to school here? S-K-Y Bruchet. I used to go here uh, last year, yes, sir. There, I mean, it ain't gonna do make anything right this minute. Do you have any ID on you or anything right now? I left it in my car. And your car is where? It's uh, it's in the parking lot. It's got a broken window. And it's what color is it? What kind is it? It's a, it's a Nissan x -Tur. It's got pink duct tape and a broken window. Which side? This side or by the gym or by the auditorium? It's uh the right side. How did you get up here with a shotgun? You just carried it up here? Yes, sir. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Holy cow. Right here. Is there anybody else with you? No, sir. I'm the only one. You're the only one? Yes, sir. Bush's responses are calm and collected. He admits to carrying the shotgun up the stairs, to the deputy's shock, and that he gave up after a single shot. He warns that his parents are very mentally ill, and that if they find out, they may get violent, and pointing out that every member of his family is bipolar or schizophrenic. Bush was charged with armed burglary of a structure to facilitate or further terrorism, discharging a firearm on school property to facilitate or further terrorism, possessing a short-barreled shotgun, carrying a concealed firearm, and disrupting or interfering with an educational institution. In 2021, he was sentenced to a 30-year minimum mandatory sentence with no eligibility for early termination of his probation. He was also sentenced to restitution of more than $14,000.
March 2023 was a terrifying time for the Covenant School in Nashville, Tennessee. Former student Audrey Hale, 28-year-old, entered the grade school armed with two assault rifles and an additional sidearm. As seen on the school's CCTV footage, after shooting through the glass in the school's front doors, Hale can be seen climbing inside and patrolling the hallways, assault rifle in hand. What? The police were notified of gunshots on at the 10 a.m., where they rushed to the scene and entered the building. This is getting good. I'm making a video. Yes, ma'am. You can get them. sweep through room after room in search of the shooter. A victim is found on the ground while gunshots ring out. Eventually, Hale was spotted in a common area on the second floor shooting outside of the window. Two officers fire upon the suspect, fatally wounding her. The shooter had claimed the lives of six victims in total. According to police writings, two shotguns were found in Hale's Brightwood Avenue home as part of a search warrant, alongside a manifesto revealing that this was a meditated attack, while using disparaging homophobic and racist remarks against white privilege. Though police identified the suspect as a woman, the police chief said that Hale was transgender and went by the name Aiden. Parkland, Florida was home to a school shooter in February 2018. 19-year-old Nicholas Cruz opened fire at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School, his former high school, with a semi-automatic rifle. He started outside the building before entering and continuing the attack. 17 victims lost their lives while 14 were injured. Even more disturbingly is the fact that Cruz allegedly uploaded a video to YouTube called I'm going to be a professional school shooter. What? Allegedly, after the attack, he told psychologists that he felt like no one loved him, which inspired him to commit this heinous act on Valentine's Day in order to ruin it for everyone. After the attack, he tried to conceal himself within the crowd of panicking students. Here he can be seen on CCTV walking down the street. Cruz thought he could get away, but was arrested in nearby Coral Springs in roughly 80 minutes. Body camera footage reveals the dialogue that took place between him and the officers that managed to find him and pin him down to the ground. I love you, reward every season with cool 
Why should the migrants have everything provided to them in our expense? I tried claiming the spend. his arrest, one of the officers kneeled down and asked what was going on. The suspect blamed voices and demons. He feigned surprise and asks, where am I? What happened? Before quickly being told to stay quiet. Later on, he can be heard whimpering and crying. His arrest was also caught on camera at different angles. Nicholas Cruz has been charged with 17 counts of premeditated murder. After five years of court cases, he was sentenced to 34 consecutive life sentences. In Ingham County, Michigan, back in June 2019, a patrolling officer approached Anthony McRae here after hearing reports of burglaries in the nearby area. How you doing? What's the word, man? You work here? No. You have a weapon on you? Yeah. What do you have? Uh, 380. 380? Well, put your hands behind your back real quick. I'm just going to detain you for a second, okay? Keep... When you're reaching into your, your pocket like that, when I'm coming up on you, and you got a firearm in your pocket, that's, uh, they oh, don't no, have no, a permit no. for it. It's kind of a bad situation, okay? Oh, when I put your foot in my pocket? Yeah. No. Uh, right now, I will, I will advise you that you're going to be, you're under arrest right now because you're carrying a concealed weapon that's not permitted. Uh, so... Your detainment did turn into an arrest just now, but we're going to talk about that in just a second, okay? Have a seat back here, partner. What's your first name? Anthony. Anthony, we're going to have a conversation in just a second, okay, buddy? Yep. Hang tight. McRae seems cooperative and polite here. Here, he is patted down during his temporary detainment, where a loaded .380 ACP semi-automatic handgun is found in his possession alongside a spare clip. Here, he admits to not having a firearm permit and is consequently arrested. The body camera cop can be heard saying, your detainment just turned into an arrest. I know I'm supposed to have a permit to carry the 380. You know you don't got a permit for it? No, but I'm working on it. I was working on getting my... Uh... Did you know that you needed a permit to carry that 380? Yeah, man, yeah, but it's late. I'm going to the store. Yeah. And, um, Why are you carrying it? Protection. Protection. But like I said, I just left QD. I normally come here, smoke a cigarette. According to McRae, he was working on getting a permit for his weapon and that he was carrying it illegally anyway for protection. Supposedly... It was purchased from a nearby pawn shop for $214. His explanation for coming out to this particular location is to smoke and enjoy some peace and quiet. After speaking with him in the back of the police car, he is given a second search. Just face the, the emblem right here on the car one time. The partner's here gonna light you up so we have a good uh, idea of what's going on. I'm gonna search you one more time prior to taking it down. So like I said, you are under arrest for that CCW. What's gonna happen is this. Uh, I'm gonna document everything you told me in regards to why you're carrying that firearm. The fact that you were indeed trying to obtain that uh, the actual permit to carry that firearm. However, city of Lansing, state of Michigan, when you do have a firearm like that concealed in your person, is indeed a crime, okay? And as our job as law enforcement officers to effect arrests on that. So that's why I wanted to ask you, what's that? Some felon? Yes, sir. Have you been charged with a crime before? I'm going to prison for this. You're going to talk to the prosecuting attorney about it, is what's going to happen, okay? 
but I can't. Or, uh, it's not up to us. It's up to the circumstances around the situation, okay? McRae was charged with a felony, but also pleaded guilty to an additional lesser charge of misdemeanor possession of a loaded firearm in a vehicle. As a result of this, he was sentenced to 12 months of probation in November 2019. Court reports state that an additional six months were added in order to allow him to complete the terms of the probation order. McRae's probation period officially concluded in May 2021. Four years after this encounter, however, he would take part in a school shooting at Michigan State University, killing three victims and injuring five before taking his own life with a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. In March 2022, a resource deputy paid a visit to Atlantic High School in Florida after being notified of a student who starred in a TikTok video wielding a handgun. Footage shows the officer entering a gymnasium alongside a teacher. Do you know what this kid looks like? This kid is back high too. suspect is pointed out by the gym teacher and is taken to a nearby corridor to be searched after lifting his hoodie on command a sig sour nine mioma pistol can be found tucked in the front of his trousers it was revealed to have been stolen from a relative all right do me a favor keep your hands out of your pockets for me okay take your backpack off for me all right so Somebody reported that they have a photo of you, and in the photo it looks like there's some sort of a weapon sticking out of a pocket, or take your hands out of your pockets, okay? Do me a favor, just lift your sweatshirt up, turn around for me, turn around again, lift your sweatshirt up again, we'll do that. Relax, okay? Anything else I need to be concerned about? Thankfully, no one was harmed, and the situation remained calm as the suspect was taken through a back exit. According to media outlets, the suspect was charged with carrying a concealed firearm, possession of a firearm on school property, and grand theft of a firearm. The victim who had the aforementioned weapon stolen from him was said to have also pressed charges. One can only hope he has learned his lesson about the severe danger he posed after bringing in a gun to school, and that he won't make that foolish decision again. Which of these videos surprised you the most? Be sure to share your thoughts in the comment section below, and please consider subscribing and liking the video in order to support the channel. All of these things really help support us, and will help us deliver more quality content for your viewing pleasure. Also, please consider checking out the videos on, on screen now. Until next time, thanks, thanks for watching, watching. And, stay and stay safe. Ah, uh, it's been school shoes got on camera. Peace out, comment, subscribe, share, and I'm out. Peace.